Hi everyone, Scott Lewis here for Wirefly. Today I'm here to unbox the brand new Google Nexus 4 for T-Mobile. Now the Google Nexus 4 is made by LG. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. Some very nice packaging. It has a little sleeve on it, so let's take that off first. Then you come into the plain black box. It is sealed. So this is a brand new phone. And let's break the seals and take a look and see what you get in the box with the brand new Google Nexus 4. So there's our Nexus 4. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's see what comes in the box. It's like with most phones, you have a quick start guide and some other manuals in there. There's a T-Mobile micro SIM card. And it looks to be some other stickers. Uh, it asks you to make sure to keep them in case you need a service claim or repair claim. And then the standard trusty old micro SD cable and charger. You know, it's, it's standard, nothing fancy, like you're getting with all the Android smartphones right now. The charging block, now the charging block plug, plugs in on the back. And then the last thing in the box looks to be a little tool. Put your SIM card in. Let's see if I can get this out without bending it or breaking it. It's just a little metal tool with a little pin. And it looks like, let's see where the SIM card goes right here on the side. So we'll pop that out, and this is the tray that your micro SIM card would go in. So even though it's not active, let's go ahead and put one in real quick just so you see what it looks like. So we have our micro SIM card there, and slide it back in. That closes. So while we have the phone up, let's take a tour. We have the volume up and down rocker switch. Up on the top we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a spot that's the microphone, power and sleep button, and then on the bottom we have our micro USB charge port. Now the micro USB port will also double as a micro HDMI output with the proper cable. Let's go ahead and set our tool off to the side, peel off our cover to the front here. The display is a 4.7 inch LCD display with screen resolution of 768 by 1280 which gives it an overall pixel density of 318 pixels per inch. The thickness is 9.1 millimeters thick, so it has a slim profile, and it weighs 4.9 ounces. Now the battery is a lot of that weight, it's 2100 milliamp hours, so not a huge battery, but it is a very solid battery for a smartphone. LG is saying that you're going to get 15.3 hours of talk time and 16.2 days of standby time with that uh, 2100 milliamp hour battery. Let's go ahead and power it on, and we'll cover a couple other specs while we're waiting for the Nexus 4 to power up. It is running a Qualcomm 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4 processor. It has 2 GB of processor RAM, and comes with 8 GB of internal storage. Now one thing to note on the uh, tour that we took or about the Nexus 4 is that it doesn't have a spot for a micro SD card. So the 8 GB that comes on board is everything that you're going to get as far as storage going to go ahead and turn the camera off now while I go through all the setup screens and I'll pick it back up in a minute so I can show you the Android 4.2 operating system on the Google Nexus 4. So here's the Google Nexus 4 all set up and connected to T-Mobile's network. Now I went through and put a couple widgets on the screens so you can see with the different swiping and see how fluid it is. There's a YouTube widget which is really nice and you just flip through the different videos. So far from what I've seen, the phone's very fluid and very responsive. A few other quick call-outs before we wrap up this unboxing video. The front-facing camera is a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera that has a 1080p recording 8 megapixel rear-facing camera. And as you can see, the back of the Galaxy Nexus is also glass. So you have glass on the front and glass on the back. Now it does have this really interesting pattern underneath the glass. Uh, I really like the whole design. I think this is a great looking phone and probably one of the best T-Mobile phones that I've seen in a while. Now the last thing I want to call out is the fact that the Galaxy Nexus has Google Wallet, which means that it has built-in NFC technology or near-field communication technology, which allows you to use applications like Google Wallet to make purchases at retailers by tapping your phone at the point of sale. We'll be doing a lot of video around the Galaxy Nexus 4. We'll be doing some smackdowns and a full review. If there's anything specific you'd like me to cover in the full review, make sure to leave it in a comment below. And also make sure to leave a comment if you have any phones that you'd like to see the Galaxy Nexus 4 go up against in our SmackDown Arena. And that wraps up our unboxing today. My name is Scott Lewis for Wirefly. 
Thanks for watching.